property and I cannot find some can go on materials. I got one other car going on. Gas tank I got on there. Sand, the other gas tank was pretty rough down here, here, and then I just put it in this place. So, I guess All right, you guys, gonna throw out another video for this week. Um, still working on this rear axle. I got digging into it a little bit, and uh, and there was just so much sludge down in the bottom of here. Oh, it was just what well, I did. I, I dumped some diesel fuel in there and uh, trying to loosen that up. I'm gonna drain that out and clean this thing. But we got this moving really free now. I'm um, just kind of going over the parts here, uh, the gasket. And these old gaskets, man, I'm going to still reuse that. New gaskets these days, you just throw them away. They don't hold up with that thing. Beefy. Anyway, here's our cover. Uh, the vent for this uh, vent cap for the for the, the axles. Got a little spring in here with a plunger. And that pushes against there and kind of seals that up. Um, but anyway, that's, uh, we're going to clean that axle out a little bit right now. Um, and then I can get my measurements for that side shim. And then I was going to start on the axle tubes, but I've been looking around the uh, property and I cannot find some material that's going to work for that. So I'm going to have to go down and buy some. Um, I figured while well, I got this up and going, I, just, I got one other project going that I haven't been filming. And that's uh, this one right here. This is a Honda 70, ATC 70. I just got parts back from the powder coater. And uh, it's going to pick up the other parts today, but they're not quite ready yet. Um... This candy blue and basically just ripped this ATC down and, and started from scratch the This cover that goes over the rear brake on this thing's gonna be chrome and so I don't need to do anything with the brake itself new brake shoes inside um, side cover. It's Still in really really good shape But uh, my aftermarket gas tank I got on there the other gas tank was pretty rotted through on the bottom So I wasn't gonna be able to save it um, got the uh, wheel hubs, which I don't I don't know if you can see that they're color changing flake in that powder coat, which I think is gonna be cool. This is for the front axe, the front hub on the on the wheel, and uh, the wheels, which are still at the powder coat, are, are chrome. Rear wheels are chrome, and still waiting for some handlebars to show up in the mail, and I got some other parts sitting over here. There is our engine which i had 50 psi on the compression so i got a new uh the centerpiece of the head right there and hope that'll bump the compression up but that that engine did run so we'll, we'll be cleaning that one up and sticking it back in and the rest of the parts are over here so i still got to clean the exhaust up and paint it got to still do the powder coat on the foot pegs and the front new fender kind of the grayish black composite look the hardware one of the tires um, down here's new seat and new rear fenders but that's gonna be a fun little project when I start throwing that one together I, I should have uh, I should have filmed pulling that all apart and getting it cleaned up and having the parts but I didn't so they're back from powder coat oh and you guys this this is one little note here if you guys ever do one of these builds and want to put a bigger motor in then the Honda 70 you need a little bit more clearance so usually what the guys will do is they'll cut the frame right here and weld in a longer piece and then drill some holes all you know four holes here four holes there uh, rosette weld them weld this piece in and what I didn't do and that's my mistake and this used this is a this is was an afterthought is uh, now you've got the gas tank that mounts to here and you got the gas tank that mounts up to here which these, these little tabs would slide in there on this aftermarket gas tank. So what I ended up having to do is sand in my brand new powder coat down here and here, and then I just welded this piece in so my gas tank will fit. But that gives you a little extra room if you want to run a bigger motor. Um, I'm not, but just in case down the road that motor goes away, I'll have that. 
So uh, let me take this uh, outside and we will dump that diesel out and give it a look and see what it looks like. And it's going to be a short video this week. Um, hopefully next week we can really hit it hard. So just a minute. All right. I just tipped it up right here and uh, drained it out into this bowl. And man, let me tell you, that is a thick, nasty mess. Um, that way I can dispose of this rather than just dump it out. Um, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna throw some more in there, some more diesel fuel in there. It, it, it cleaned up pretty good. I mean, you can't really see in there without a light, and I ain't got a light on me, so I can kind of see back in there. You can actually see the bottom of the case now. You see, her, you see the gear reduction there. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but I'm spinning that fairly quick by hand and barely moving there on the axles. Let me throw a little bit more diesel in there and we'll swash that around and give it one more dump. Okay, so we just uh, filled that back up. I'm going to slosh this around in here a little bit. Definitely getting cleaner. Call that good right there. Let me dump that back out. See what we end up with. Still a little gooey, but not like it was before. That's actually a little liquidy, so I'm all right with that. Just gonna let that sit and drain. All right, for you guys that don't know, so this is the this is the shaft that's gonna go to the. Uh, that's gonna go up to where the motor and, and the other the front of the drive shaft hooks into and this uh, worm gear carries right on through and out the back of the housing and uh, down in there you've got another shaft that comes out and this, this being the rear I think the front's the same way it's it's upside down here I'd show you but uh, um, there was an option on the coot to add a propeller um, and it would be driven right off of the uh, right off of the regular axles and that was an, an upgrade or an add-on that you could have got. This one doesn't have it, nor will I ever probably put a propeller on there. I think it'd go pretty slow anyway. But anyway, we're going to end the video here. We're going to get that cleaned up a little bit more. And like I said, next video, we're going to really be digging into this thing a little bit more. Um, hopefully I can find my, my metal brake so I can get that bent up and get that start welding in. I was going to start cutting patches in, but it's too dang hot in here to start working in the garage right now. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you like this kind of thing. We're going to keep them coming at you. We're going to try to hit, like I said, every every Friday, try to get a new video uploaded. Um, parts will be in Monday to start putting this one back together. So that might be a little bonus video in, in the middle of the week sometime. All right, thank you.